My name is uh, Lindsay Butler. I am Community Development Worker with Kilkenny County Council and I'm also the Project Manager of the Age Friendly Communities Interreg Program. I suppose the overall aim of this particular project was to engage people of all ages basically but mostly we concentrated on older generation because we had just become an age friendly county which concentrated on in involving older people in society and in the community a bit more. My name is Dee Hart and I'm the artist facilitator on the Three Threads project. Um, I've been working with the County Council for the last three years um, and this year we were making space. Um, I work in ethical design and um, I endeavour to use waste streams of fabric in all the projects that I work on. This year we have used redundant t-shirts from charity organisations and uh, various corporations have donated to the project. We've used over 2,000 t-shirts and uh, we have crocheted with them. So the participants were involved in the process from um, cutting of the t-shirts to the making of material to the construction of the soft sculptures. It's about building social capital. Um, I find with um, a lot of the participants they um, have the friendships that they have made over the last three years have really connected them to their community and they've commented how they walk down the street now and they, they have a lot of faces that they recognise and people that they, they know from just because of this project. My name is Katrina Carr, I'm Sports Development Officer with the Kenny Recreation and Sports Partnership. So we organise physical activity programmes for older adults, but about 90% of our participants are always women, so uh, we've struggled to engage older men in the community. So what the Interreg project has allowed us to do is to go out into the communities and pilot different programmes and see what activities work and what elements work to attract men to the programmes. So when we started off with games, league games, with a little bit of competitive element to attract them in, they've gone on from this then to take part in other activities in the community. So we have 70 year olds down at Paddlefest trying kayaking for the first time. We had a, an 8 year old man in the pool for the first time as well. The main benefit has been it has engaged the men from the community, but the men have gotten great confidence. And also I think in within Kilkenny, uh, the sports clubs are maybe more open to having older adults not just as members of their clubs in administration roles but also as active members of sports clubs. My name is Mary Butler, I am the County Arts Officer with Kilkenny County Council. Making Space was a partnership between the Arts Office and the Community Culture Department. We basically worked with um, a number of participants um, in a, what I suppose what we referred to as a social crochet project. There was a very strong social aspect to the project um, and also it was very much about learning new skills, um, improving skills and sharing skills across the participants. My name is um, Anne Jones, I'm from the Kilkenny Men's Shed and we were um, involved with a Thai Men's Shed in putting a healthy eating calendar together for 2014. Men notoriously are a, a very difficult group to connect with, um, they tend to isolate themselves, women are very good to get involved in network and um, men not so much. Um, so this project really helped um, to um, engage the men um, and get them out there. Um, so every Tuesday the men came in and um, they um, made a dish. So beforehand we met with the men and they decided what dishes they were going to make. So Kilkenny Men's Shed did six months on the calendar and the Thai Men's Shed did the other six. 
everyone had a different role, everyone got, got involved. Um, some people had different strengths. Um, some men we found out were actually quite good at cooking, but they didn't want to tell their wives that. Uh, they said if, the, if their wife could see them now, they'd be in trouble, so you had to keep that kind of top secret. I'm Barbara Ann Harkin and I work for the Butler Gallery as Education Curator and I was involved with um, the Bialtana events at Butler Gallery which was part of the Positive Imaging and Heritage events and also the Creative Exchange and Collaboration um, which included our Culture Club intergenerational collaboration with our team group. Our intergenerational project aimed to do a number of things really. Um, one of the most important things for us was that the people who would participate in this intergenerational collaboration would engage with the gallery in a new way. It empowered them to feel at home not only in the Butler Gallery but also in other art spaces around the city and it's really given them a sense of ownership that the arts life of Kilkenny is really something that they can totally be a part of and that they're entitled to be right at the centre of. We had participants from all over the city and county of Kilkenny and uh, many of them were new visitors to the gallery, many of them were newcomers to contemporary visual art and they have actually begun to go out into the community, speak to their own friends, their neighbours, their peers about how much they enjoyed their participation in this programme. <coughs> We had people in their very early 20s right up. I think our oldest participant was 86. So it's incredible to watch those relationships build and develop. And this year for this project, I also invited in a poet. So alongside the kind of, you know, the tactile work that was going on, we also had a young poet in the room who engaged with all of the participants. And there was a really, you know, a lovely relationship built up there and it added another layer to the project. So it gave us, um, I suppose, another language around the project and in a different way of looking at the project. Mm -hmm. 